Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Postgres, TypeORM and the TypeScript in Node.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So today what we are going to learn is we are going to connect the Postgres SQL using the TypeORM and the TypeScript in Node.js. So let's see what are the packages that we require to connect to the Postgres SQL database using the type ORM and the TypeScript. So first let's go and check my, so, so let me open my VS code. Okay, so what we have to do, set up your project. So uh, with the help of the NPM init Y and install the de dependency like this. So we need type ORM, PG, reflect metadata, types node, TypeScript, TS node, install all of these. Okay, so this is the default configuration or you can configure this file with the help of this file which name is tsconfig.json so you have to configure this file like this so this have a target module out directory root strict so i have already told you about this one in the first video so go and watch that one so first one you have to create a type orm connection file first so this is the file part right so you have to go and check this file part okay so here i have just do some, everything over here so very type ORM so this is the data source you have to import from the type ORM then this is user entity don't this is not required okay if you want the dot uh, env then go and install that one for the configuration file but I'm not using from anything from the configuration file so don't require it okay for this part right next we have the postgres sql so here we have a type which dialect you are using this so i'm using the postgres so here we have the postgres sql so here we have the username password then host this is the port and this is the db name so url should be like this so make that one then logging if you want to log then log or synchronization that means you want to create the tables at the runtime so make that to be true which which they have to create the models part so this is the path of the directory that you want to add over here so that it can create the tables for you. Extra, you this is for the production part. If you want, they can use that. Otherwise, you skip that part. So here we have a connect DB initialize. Then if the if they are the tables are getting on, then the data source should be analyzed. Else there should be an error. Okay. So this is the connection part. Then we have a app.ts file where we have the here you can see where we have the express then we have a connection part okay so first we are just checking the connection the connection part is working or not okay let's save this and run this one npm run dev so here you can see that let me delete that table and see part. otherwise you can see that the data source has been initialized because you are seeing that the tables are there over here let's go to the pg admin and i will sh show you pg admin okay so here we have a pg admin test so here we have the text task management so here we have the tables photo and the user let me delete this one first or well, let's see while running the running the starting the server it, the tables has been created or not okay so that that means uh, if it is created that means the configuration file is correct and we have successfully connected to the postgres sql with the type orm and the node.js so let's delete first so i have deleted this one every time it has the issue i don't know why this button is not working it needs to be truncate something okay or you can see you can delete this one delete so here it's working delete and this one needs to delete so move this one okay so yes deleted both the tables let's restart the server and check 
so here let's save this and it's automatically restarted and here you can see the table user has been created with the primary key and the photo has been created okay you can see and if i go over here and just refresh okay both this entities has been created that means the database connection has been done so let's verify in the next video by creating the api part like which to be get it would be a post okay so that uh, we will fetch the data and then you get to know about the connection is successfully done okay so this is how we are able to successfully connect it to the postgres sql typescript and the node shares any doubt any query do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day